my name is Megumi Fosse. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biology. So I am Eurasian. My mother is Polish Czech. My father is Japanese. I grew up in Canada, but I was born in the States. I definitely identify as being Japanese in terms of being from an immigrant family, um, even though my mother was in the States for quite a few generations. So I said probably Japanese of all cultures is what I identify with the most. So Mandibus sexta is a really great model organism for studying the nervous system and to studying how hormones work. I did not choose Manduka, really it was developed by my mentor at the University of Washington. It's large so you can actually get into the nervous system very easily. You can cut out the nervous system and have it working in a dish. So there's a whole physiology just related to insects that's quite different from humans. But there's a, there are also a lot of parallels with the human nervous system, the way human muscles work to be able to draw some general principles from studying these little critters. This is why I stay in science, <laughs> being able to play. And also it actually has very clear developmental life cycle so that you can actually tell approximately how old it is or what stage it's at in its development by the way it looks. And I think that's one of the trademarks of the strong, great scientist is seeing these types of traits in animals and figuring out which animal is going to make the ideal organism to research. Uh, so my memory of middle school is music and arts, where I really learned to write. But I also should say there was a turning point in my life, which I didn't think about before, which was that um, I wasn't an exceptional student in middle school. Both my middle school and my high school teachers were very, very passionate. And I think the passion showed much more in the arts that way than they did in the sciences for a long time. So when I finally got the passionate biology teacher in high school, that was the big deal. In high school, I was, um, there were a lot of role models that really piqued my interest in science. One was a female biology teacher and she was very strong and willful and that made a big impression on me um, because our other strong and willful teacher in school was our music teacher and I was initially going into music. I had joined the physics club and I eventually left it because it felt quite like a boys club and I was uncomfortable. I think if I had really wanted to stay in the club, I would have gone and found a few girlfriends to join with me and made a little cohort. Um, I think I would recommend for any middle school or high school girls who want to be part of clubs like this that, that really the best thing is to bring out the numbers. If you get yourself a few girlfriends to go with you, the teacher really will respond in a different way and I think the discomfort of having the single girl there won't be felt. I think the same advice goes for, for young girls of color. You may, they might go into a club. It may have other women or other girls, but if they feel like the only girl of color there, that can be a little intimidating. And I think, again, bringing in a few friends, recruiting a few friends, not only kind of adds my goal of, of getting more girls involved, more girls of color involved, but I think that gives you that sense of self-confidence that you're going to need and it lets you bring up things with the teachers, with the club directors that you might feel uncomfortable to otherwise. Really the, the group effect does a lot. Science just keeps me interested all the time. It's, there's always something new going on, um, and I love being in the lab and playing with my experiments. You have to create tools, you have to set questions and try to answer them, and you do a lot of ob observing of live animals, of things going on around. I also that if I didn't have the chance to be doing the science with students, I probably wouldn't be doing it, which is partly why I chose a place like San Francisco State. <laughs>